Thanks for watching and previously on Payam Battlestar Galactica, I use linear algebra, more precisely change of coordinates, to find a formula of reflection about a line. And now you may ask, well what about projection on a line? And it turns out it's exactly the same idea as before. So let t go from r2 to r2, the projection I guess from orthogonal projection on the line y equals to 2x. So what does t do? So suppose you have this line y equals to 2x. Before we reflected it, but now what we would like to do, we would like to project it. So given a point here x, y, we would like to, if you want, orthogonally project it. T of x comma y. And the question is, find a formula for t. Of t. And just as before, and again, I invite you to look at the video, all we need to figure out is what t does to two very specific vectors. I mean, just as before, first of all, notice if you have a point on that line, let's say 2 comma 1, sorry, 1 comma 2, then, um, then nothing happens to it, right? If you squish 1 comma 2 on this line, you get the same thing. So t of 1 comma 2, it shows 1 comma 2. And similarly, if you take a point that's perpendicular, so in other words, if you take a point on this perpendicular line, y equals to minus 1 half x, and you project it, let's say the point minus 2 comma 1, and you project it, then you should actually just get the origin. Because again, to make it perpendicular, it means to squish this point here, but this is precisely the origin. So t of minus 2 comma 1, it's 0, 0. And therefore, this suggests to use the same basis as before. So let beta be 1, 2, and minus 2 comma 1 then we can find the matrix of t. So, so basically, so t of 1, 2 is 1, 2, which is 1 times 1, 2 plus 0 times minus 2, comma 1. And t of minus 2, comma 1 is just minus 2, comma 1. So it's just 0. So it's 0 times 1, 2 plus 0 times minus 2, comma 1, which tells us that the matrix of t with respect to this old basis is 1, 0, 0, 0. Very good. And now um, we just need to find, remember, first of all, let gamma be the new basis, which here is the standard basis. So let gamma equals 1, 0, 0, 1 be the standard basis because it turns out once we know the matrix of t with respect to the standard basis, we know what t is. And remember, also in a previous, previous video, I showed you how to easily calculate a new matrix in terms of an old matrix. Namely, all you do, you conjugate by what's called a change of coordinates matrix. So it is, turns out that this equals to q d pi, so q t, q inverse, where here q is the change of coordinates matrix from beta to gamma, and I calculated it, I don't quite remember what it was, but I calculated it to be, um, oh, silly, you can calculate it, because the way to form it is just you take your old vectors, one, two, and evaluate them with the new system, and minus 2, 1 with the new system. And because this is a standard, uh, sorry, the standard basis, we have 1, 2. It's 1 times 1, 0 plus 2 times 0, 1. So we get 1, 2 
and then minus 2, 1. And then all you need to do is apply this formula. So this is 1, 2, minus 2, 1. The matrix we already found, 1, 0, 0, 0. And then 1 minus 2, 2, 1, inverse. And I have not worked out the formula, so let's see. Let's be surprised together. So this is 1 minus 2, 2, 1. 1, 0, 0, 0. The inverse of this, remember, to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, you get 1 over the determinant, which is 1 minus 2 times minus 2, which is 1 plus 4, which is 5, so 1 fifth. And then to find the inverse, you flip those two values, and you take negative of those two values, 2 minus 2. And so let's calculate this, so it's 1 fifth, times 1 minus 2 to 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, minus 2, 1, and that's 1 fifth times 1 minus 2 to 1, and let's see. Yeah, it is, it is precisely the first row. I feel silly now, but you get this, and then let's just calculate that. So 1 fifth times, so 1, and then 2, sorry, 1, 2, and then, uh, sorry, 2, and then 4. I think it's correct. Yeah, 2 and then 2, 4, yeah. Okay, and then that just becomes 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 2 fifths, and 4 fifths. Okay, that's good, and then um, what happens next is simply uh, you found the matrix of T with respect to the standard basis, and then you're basically done. So T gamma gamma, it's one fifth, two fifths, two fifths, four fifths. And again, the beautiful thing about using the standard basis is that we can figure out what T is, T of x, y, it's one-fifth, two-fifths, two-fifths, four-fifths, times x, y, and that becomes uh, x over five, one, yeah, x over five, plus two y over five, and then two y over five, and then uh, four y, sorry, two x over five, and then 4y over 5. In other words, the formula for projection on this line is just x over 5 plus 2y over 5, 2x over 5, plus 4y over 5. Awesome sauce. Who would have thought? And in general, of course, you can do this with the line y equals to mx. And all you need to do, just replace with 2 by m, and then I believe you get something like t of x, y, it's, so I guess x over, if you want, um, sorry, I think that's true, uh, x plus m, y, maybe, over m squared, plus 1, and uh, m, x, plus, could it be, let me see if it's m squared, how do we get Four, so we get uh, yeah two times two, so I think it's just m. So m x plus m squared y over m squared plus one. I might be wrong. I haven't really checked this, but I think that's correct. And in general, if you have some other line, you know uh, y equals to m x plus p, something like that then you just use a standard trick of just translating it. So subtract p everywhere, and then project your new point. If this is x, y, you get x comma y minus p. I think it's time to me for stop. And then you reflect this, you get this formula, and then you add p back. So I think it's just the same formula, but with y plus p instead of y. So I think this is really neat.
and I get a beautiful example of change of coordinates. And if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.